Hi, my name is Nate Hines and I'm from Cedar Grove, Wisconsin. I've been a team member of USA Wheelchair Basketball since 2009 and I've had the opportunity to represent the USA at two Paralympic Games in 2012 at the London Paralympics where we won a bronze medal as well as the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro where we won the gold medal. I've also been a member of Team CAF since 2020 and in that time they've provided me with multiple opportunities to improve myself as an athlete, as a person uh, by providing me uh, either funds for travel or different equipment grants to help me continue to train. Uh, today we're going to work on a very fundamental skill in the game of basketball which is passing and there's a couple different passes that we're going to go over. First is the chest pass. All you need to work on the chest pass or any passing is a wall. Uh, you know, obviously it helps that the wall is flat and it doesn't have to be any bleachers. You can see I'm by some bleachers. I'm going to choose to work on the concrete wall just so the ball bounces back to me. And it might sound silly, but not only am I going to work on my passing, but I'm also going to work on my catching because those two kind of obviously go hand in hand, no pun intended, but we always want to catch the passes that our teammates are throwing us and what a better way to work on that but to practice our passing. So first one we're going to do is just a regular chest pass. I'm going to face the wall and I'm going to find a distance that's comfortable for me so that when I pass the ball off the wall, it's also going to come back and hopefully hit right around my chest or right around the logo on my t-shirt. So I turn around. Okay, that one was a little low, so I know that I need to adjust. Pass a little higher, okay? Do a couple passes off the wall. Now, this is where we can practice some of our catching skills as well. Maybe this time I'm gonna try and pass the ball with two hands, but maybe just try to catch it with one. Let's we'll see how it works. Okay, simple drill for you to work on. That was the chest pass. A bounce pass is maybe something that we don't use a whole lot in wheelchair basketball because there's a lot of chairs low to the ground and it's really easy for people to get their hands on chest pass, or on bounce passes, excuse me. So a bounce pass, you're just gonna sit, you know, again, find a good distance away from the wall. You might wanna try and hit the floor about three quarters of the way between you and the wall. See if you can get it up off the wall and see if you can get a good catch. I don't know, we'll see if it works. Okay, I kind of came back a little short. I might move a little bit closer. All right. Okay, and again, you can practice, after you get a couple passes down, maybe practice catching. Different hands, one hand, two hands. Okay, whoa, see, you gotta work out a little bit. There we go. All right. Now, also, probably one of my favorite passes in the game of wheelchair basketball is the baseball pass. Overhand, throwing it just like you're gonna throw a baseball or a football. This one you might wanna back up a little bit, but this is one of my favorites where I get to work on not only catching, but I get to throw with both hands. Just because I'm a right-handed dominated player, I'm gonna try and practice throwing with my left hand because in the game of wheelchair basketball, you need to be able to use both hands. So, turn and face the wall, go ahead and throw, catch with two hands. Okay, now maybe I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit, throw with my left hand. All right, and then if you really wanna get tricky, maybe I'm gonna throw with my right hand, catch with my left hand. Okay, and then the last pass, which is really critical in wheelchair basketball, is the hook pass you're going to actually face parallel to your wall and you're going to overhand hook pass so that the ball is going to go over your head and over the defense and hopefully get to your teammate. When you're passing against the wall, it's really nice, especially if you have some nice striped walls like I have here. I'm going to try and get my hook pass over that wall and see if I can get it back to me. Here we go. Comes right back comes right back, okay? So those are some easy passes for you to work on. You can work on them at home, you can work at them on them in a gym. Just make sure that you have permission to throw the ball against the wall. Um, and you can even challenge yourself with getting out some tape, get out some painter's tape, and maybe tape some targets on the, on the wall for you to try and hit 
but again, ask for permission. I'm in a brand new gym, uh, and I didn't want to put any tape on the wall, so I just chose to bounce it off the wall, and it worked just fine. So a couple great drills for you to work on, not only your passing, but also your catching. All right, have a great time. Have a good time passing. It's one of those skills that's super helpful in the sport, and your teammates will appreciate it.